In the previous video, we took a look at Safer Web Legacy. It's a very handy way of being able to compare your active document to a previewed version of what that file would look like exported as, say, a JPEG or a PNG. You can also use that same dialog box to export with a specific file size in mind rather than being led visually. So if I go back up to the file menu and choose export, say, for Web Legacy, when the dialog box pops up on screen here, instead of uh, altering the settings that we see in the main interface, I'll instead go to the top right hand side and then go to optimize to file size. Now, when this dialog box appears, you can see that the target file size is 250K. Now that might be a little bit small. So what I'll do is I'll change that to 500, which is still gonna be sort of around about sort of two to 300K less than some of the other JPEG versions we've output. And then if I click OK, we can compare the original on the left hand side compared to the JPEG preview on the right hand side. And yeah, other than the, the, the color difference between Adobe RGB and sRGB, that holds up fairly well. So let's actually go back to optimize for file size and change this to a much lower 200K and click OK. So if I just zoom in a little closer, you can see there around those contrasting colors of the logo and the text, which is white against that blue background, we're getting some very harsh JPEG artifacts. So yeah, 200 is really too small. So I can always go back to the menu at the top right hand side with nothing lost um, and change that back up to 500 in the confidence of knowing that I'm going to get that nice low file size, but still not compromise too much on the quality. With that done, I can go down to the bottom, click on save. It'll take me back to my output folder and I can save that as a JPEG. I'll just add the file name on the end of underscore optimize so I can differentiate between the others. So if your priority is reducing the data size as much as possible, that is another way to go in the Safer Web Legacy dialog box.